All right, what is good, everybody? Welcome, welcome to the Spiritual War Room. I wanted to do some readings today on the ghosts of your past. So these are things that we believe are gone, dead and gone, but, you know, it's getting around that time where we, you know, we talk about ghosts, ghouls, and goblins. So today we're looking into the ghosts of the past, of your past. Okay, so this is how it's going to work. I have five boxes ooh, of index cards right here. They're all numbered and shuffled already. I have five blocks. We're going to pull a block and see which box we're going to use. And then we'll tell probably some short stories. Okay, guys, so um, pick your number one through five. This will be your box if you are drawn we'll tell your story all right guys before we jump into this don't forget to show me some love like share subscribe remember guys sending me good energy only means you're gonna get good energy back all right guys all right so let's get into this so we have box one okay the first box right at the top all right box one what is your story? What ghosts of the past want to come back to haunt you? <laughs> Let's see. Story for pile one. Got sunshine. Okay. Troubled past. I did nothing. Uncomfortable. Hmm. I'm not taking all of these. Um, just a couple more. I'm gonna try and keep them short. Snakes in the grass. I see dead people when I'm home alone. Oh no, nothing else matters. Yeah, this person's going through um some dark stuff right now. Sunshine. I heard Sunshine State, so this person could be from California. I'm also hearing Sunshine as in like, um, awesome. Ugh, you are my sunshine. Um, not the, my only sunshine, not that song. <laughs> you are my sunshine. God, now I can't think about it. Uh, think of the the group but yeah I'm, like this person could be you know be listening to that song <laughs> this person has a troubled past okay they're starting to realize that they have snakes in the grass these snakes they did something I did nothing I see dead people when I'm home alone nothing else matters this person could be uncomfortable um, so they're trying to find, you know, that peace, that sunshine. Let's look into that sunshine real quick. Let's see if we can get some some more warmth up in here because this is a lot of cold, dark energy. I'm not, it's just like sunshine up there. The world. Hmm. It could be watching you online. Maybe you bring this person some, um, I don't know, warmth. Something about your intelligence. Yeah. They see you as a leader. Yeah, like, who, okay, this is, <clears throat> This could be somebody that they go to to kind of help heal, heal their heart because they're they're starting to get uncomfortable in a situation because they have people around them that are snakes. <clears throat> Ooh. Six of Pentacles. This is like a give and take. Oh, this is oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, guys. Somebody paid. Somebody's finding out that somebody paid someone to take them out. Oh, 
or take out somebody that heals their heart, their sunshine. This is their sunshine. They try to take out their sunshine. I wanted to block out the sun for this person. Wow. What else can you tell me about the snakes in the grass? Hangman. You didn't know that these people were snakes. So you could have, oh, you didn't know that they were snakes. Um, they could have told you, I don't know who I'm talking to, but I'm just going to say what I'm getting. Um, they could have told you that the person that they were trying to take out was something that they were not. Um, so they needed you to believe this to get on board with them. It, not so much that you, I don't know if you, how much, <laughs> how dirty your hands are in this situation, but you didn't do anything about it. What can, what can you tell me about this? I did nothing. <clears throat> Almost. Hmm. This person stayed to themselves. It's like the, the devil was reaching out. This person, whoever that you are, you knew that someone was trying to reach out to someone, trying to get them, draw them out. But this person's wise. They they knew that this devil was up to no good. And judgment was called. They see people who are two-faced. So, somebody could have been trying to warn you that the people around you were snakes. And you're only seeing it now because judgment has been called on these people. I see dead people. What is this? Home alone. This is someone who is This is like celebrities that were taken out for money. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the person that they were tr the devil was trying to get to your sunshine. This is your sunshine. The person that um, the devil was trying to draw out could have been witnessing this or saw something. There was something about seeing it and speaking on it. But she was sitting there, you know, gaining clarity. Loose ends. That the, I just saw loose ends. Look. They had to tie up loose ends. That's, that's who this person was, the high priestess. Yep. She was a loose end. They had to clean it up. We can't let this one reveal what we've done. <clears throat> this is the troubled past that they were trying to get away from. These snakes that tried to get you to go along with this plan. Let's go back to this. I see dead people. <clears throat> I heard the high priestess. Maybe, um... Yeah. These souls to be free. They're attracted. They're, it's like attract the sun. This is your person. 
people probably thought this person was crazy because they could be the one saying, I see dead people. <laughs> hey, I do too, the shit. So I'm here. Sometimes dead people are more fun than the living. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> uh, they have better stories, that's for sure. And they know so much more. They know everybody's secrets. Yeah. I see dead people. So you did nothing. Let's see why nothing else matters. Might want to listen to that song. Think of the lyrics and try to remember the lyrics. But it's just not coming to me. Maybe there's a message in there for you. Um, this is like home, like sunshine. Maybe you feel like this person is like, I've done too much, man. I've done too much. Now, like this sunny home that I've been wanting with my person will be in darkness forever. I feel like God says that you're bound and you're only in your mind. God has great gifts and blessings for you if you learn how to balance yourself in this world because there's a lot of chaos you know you come from, you know with the troubled past this person could come from a troubled past um and they think well i'm doomed for hell for all eternity and god's saying no that's not true um but speak speak the truth that's why they have this that code in of the street you know <clears throat> you don't you don't rat on each other because it's like a, a it's um it's a contract it's it's you're bound to the devil and the devilish things that are being done spirit says you know those those are only in your mind don't fear when god's before you no man can be against you mhm mm anyone who tries <laughs> it's like Zeus strikes them with their lightning bolt isn't it in, in, uh, I've been trying I've been learning about Dante's Inferno so like there was one guy that was I don't even remember which circle it's one of the uh, later circles um, like eight or nine it was, I don't forgot who it was, but he was climbing. It was like a, an attack on, I don't know what city, but um, he was very bold and proclaimed that not even, I, what did he say, not even Zeus himself can stop me from laying siege on the city. <clears throat> he pff, strikes him down. You know, these people might be bold and they might be, <laughs> they might try to intimidate, but God's bigger. Um, <laughs> lovers here. <clears throat> See your community. I threw a lot of cards down. Your community, though. They knew that you had this person that you saw as your sunshine, right? Your community did not want you to connect with this person. They always wanted you waiting for something that you would believe. They wanted you to like lose faith in something better, right? They wanted you to always be like, fuck. Every person I meet is just... The same old, same old. That was strategy to keep you in this 
energy. Um, they even told you that you have your head in the clouds if you think that this person will ever want you knowing what you've done in the past. They didn't want you to connect to this person because it was like too close. If you connect to them, it, they get too close. And because I want to hold them. <laughs> They didn't want this person to get close because they're like, oh, they know too much. And if they get close, we're going to have to tie up loose ends. And you're like, well, maybe that's why you feel like nothing else matters because you feel like I can't. I can't go after this because if I do, they I make them a target. About this death, like they have to keep the secret. What is your advice? Let's just get you some advice, man. I don't think I'm gonna do short stories. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna pull another box. person you want to grow old with, you know, you put up blockages to, you've like moved away from this person. This is a person that would help you, who could help heal your soul or your spirit. That's a tower. It's like a shock that you can actually have a victory. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? I mean, it doesn't have to be with this person either. Like, if you feel like this person, you know, you can't, you know, God, God will always bless you, you know, but you, you have your blessings, but you have to find peace within yourself before you can really gift yourself to another person fully. These people. Let's see what's happening to these people. These snakes. Let's see what's happening to these snakes. What's going to happen to these snakes? Okay. Okay. I'm not taking all those cards. I'm not taking all these cards. Okay. Let's let's try this again. Actually, I'm going to use a different deck. Because everything that was coming out <clears throat> of this deck was all very, you know, happy, lovey, sunshiny stuff. Um, but I want to know what's going on with these snakes. Again, with the three of pentacles. <clears throat> the eight of pentacles came out last time. It talks about work. <clears throat> Hiding the work that's been done. Collaborations that took place. So these people wanted to control over your relationship, your love life, because you wanted this person, right? They they wanted you to feel like this was not something you could have. They wanted they wanted you to get your hands dirtier. Like your hands were already dirty, but they wanted <clears throat> again like the person that you wanted, they had to get you to believe something about them for you to be okay with what they were about to do to your person, the High Priestess. Okay. <laughs> These people wanted you in a low vibration. I just saw that. I wasn't gonna put it put it out, but it's low vibration. I, I didn't put it in here, I meant. Not yet, not in the decks. Um they wanted you in this low vibration because look, with the lovers, you are the match. You are their match. 
there was supposed to be marriage, a baby. You were supposed to have this with this person. And you're, these people knew it. These snakes knew it. They didn't want you to be loving and generous and kind to this person. So they had to get you to believe something about your person. They had to get you to believe something about this person. They needed to have control over you and this relationship, this connection, because they knew that if you got too close, like, <laughs> I don't know that this person would speak on something or I don't know. They had to tie up loose ends. Okay, so let's go back to the snakes in the grass. What's going to be the outcome? We're going to get caught up for sure. A lot of conflict. A lot of conflict. A lot of conflict. Oh my goodness. These people. Because the truth is going to come out. There's the sun. There's your sunshine. This is what I love about being an intuitive reader. It's like I receive the messages, the cards pair with it. But um, a lot of times, the not not always. It's the it's the hits, the downloads that you get that tell. Oh my gosh! And sometimes the reason they don't really match match with the cards the download I'm getting right now it's because you know there's certain things that have to stay hidden so um yeah let's see they're trying to cloak but what's really going to happen and how it's going to play out has to stay cloaked because you know you can't give the the enemies a heads up you know <laughs> but I don't think it has anything to do there's, there's lots of people in, involved in this. There's a lot of people in this. And... This person does bring your you peace. The sun, temperance, the empress. It's almost like I heard this person might even speak on something, not really knowing that it was connected to you directly. say what it is though <laughs> oh my gosh I'm getting I'm getting lost in this yeah just it's like if you know the truth you're gonna you're gonna reject me it's almost like this person knows that they deserve to to go to prison for this for the love of money my whole world came crashing down for the love of money yeah like game of pentacles the lovers and oh man that sucks 
because this person like knows if I would have invested in this, I would have had this money anyways. More. I would have had more and it would have been clean without guilt. <clears throat> Those are the blessings of God. But you got to be, you know, it's like you got to be a fool to do, to believe in God. You got to be a fool to, to trust, to have that level of faith in God that God will give every, give you everything that you need. That's why God really loves the fools and protects the fools. <laughs> You know, yeah, they're going to be blessed. They've, you know, <clears throat> with the troubled past, it's like these people, the people that God blesses, they've had, they have troubled pasts too, you know, and what's, and these are people that had families you know, a lot of people that have troubled past, they have this, they they believe, they have this idea of them that they're like, they're, they come from fatherless homes and, you know, drug addict mothers and, you know, all this like crazy stuff. And really it's not like always like that, right? Um, this person could have had a family, they could have had, you know, what looked like a good support system and this person had to work on their own you know because these people there was no support no I heard compassion they had this family wasn't they had no compassion no love no understanding no not no no warmth for this person you know it's like they could have had like siblings that just you know You know, I don't know, man. This person has to stay strong. I heard that, you know, this isn't the first time that someone's tried to take them out. This, their, their, their own mother could have tried to take them out. Oh, their whole family. This one could have had parents that try to take them out, siblings that try to take them out. Oh, I heard children that try to take them out. Even their own kids try to take them out. not the first time um here in childhood this was like I could have tried to take them out even as a kid it took it took a long time for this judgment to come in but it's finally here that's why all these snakes are going down anyone who's ever crossed your sunshine <laughs> is is going down and it's not this person like oh I'm, I'm gonna take this group down or something no it, it, this is God's judgment on people who have done wicked things to his beloved fools you know and these snakes in the grass were just these were your people these were you know They are in that group that crossed this one, so that's why they're going down. You know, that's why they wanted to try to, you know, tie up loose ends with this one. You know, justice is coming regardless. <laughs> they can't sneak away from this. They've already gotten caught up. The authorities already know. So they they think they're trying. They think they're being slick here, but. The authorities, they got eyes on them. So, yeah, I don't know, guys. This, ooh, okay. I hope this helped. Pile number one. Holy shit! For a second there, I was getting. Uh, I'm gonna have to go back and watch that one because I don't even remember. All right, so. Next block, block, blocks, box. Which story are we gonna get from? Five. All right. Five it is. We have the Brady Bunch at the bottom. Is there something wrong with these people? <laughs> Psychic gifts. 
see what story wants to come out. These are ghosts of the past. What ghosts are haunting? There's some shame. Pile number five. Dante's Inferno, Gluttony. Checkers, the real deal. I'm bothered. Okay, flex. Communicate through music. Oh, God. We got, we got no intent. So, circle three, the third circle of hell at Dante's Inferno is reserved for those who overindulge. Okay, we got the three-headed dog. I forgot his name. <laughs> Honestly, these weren't supposed to be in here. I just blow notes for myself, but hey, it's here. <laughs> So we got gluttony. So in this, okay, hold on. Hold on. I'm having a hard time with this one. Oh my god. We got death. In secret. Poor money. So the um this is about money. Fake flex. Soul of death that you got. Oh, so it could be a musician. I got this in pile number one, two. Yep. King of Pentacles, right? There's a whole group that thought they got away with this. It's about to go down. Yeah, okay. There's a lot of shame for someone. Um, I don't know why that three headed dog really is sticking out to me. Like, what about him? Oh, they're trying to get out. He's the guard, you know. Um, I think he keeps them from from trying to to escape. And every time they go around in the circle, you know, the dog attacks them. So they could have a three-headed dog after their ass. <laughs> Priestess is the three-headed dog. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Yeah, you it keep you from trying to get out. Okay, so what's the shame about? Online. Something could have been spoken online and there. Yeah, it caused a lot of conflict for them. Maybe at work but when the truth came out. Yeah. There's a lot of shame associated with what they with what they did, the things that they do for money. This person is like fake flexing. That this is someone who tries to like, oh, on social media. Oh, I'm so great. Look at what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, this person's trying to find a way out. Everybody sees their deception when somebody spoke the truth. This is somebody that this person thought everybody saw as a fool. Like, oh, they're not gonna take this fucking crazy seriously. But this, hmm, this person got thrown under the bus, probably because, you know, their work, it was slow at first. But now they're coming back with, <laughs> you know, bigger and better. Now they don't know how to get out of this shit. 
Oh, what's the fake flex? Why are they? Can I? I heard I'm a pimp. <laughs> no, no, you ain't. Okay, so this person that you, <laughs> okay, so this is someone who's fake flexing. They're saying, oh, I left you for somebody better than you, so much sexy, you know, they have more money. This is somebody who, like, they're trying to act like, you know, they upgraded because this person might, you know, they think they look, this person looks better than you, but you're the real deal, okay? This person ain't shit. Um, this is who they're saying, oh, I'm so in love. This is my person. Um, but they're, you know, what people don't know is that this person is really, you know, wicked, man. This person does, mm, he do, he's, he, I just saw the prison card. I went back in. It was like, no, don't take me there. Oh. <laughs> I just saw it, though. I swear. Yeah. Um. This person is... Hold on. Before I say anything, let me, what can you tell me about that? Yeah, this person, this person messes with little kids. <clears throat> Not little kids, like not like babies but um oh my god no I don't want to hear that um children young young you know young ladies underage ladies um this person is manipulative this person um this is someone who says that I'm trying to better the community. Spirit says the community, the community would be smart in walking away from this person. This person. Um, they did this to... I don't know, this fake flex is... I'm getting a facade. Like, oh, I'm in this happy relationship to try and take the heat off of the accusations that someone made against this person. What is this weapons and this coffin card? What is the weapons? They wanted to get rid of someone, a partner, someone that they partnered with, somebody that they were trying to piss off, like, there's a lot of shame associated. Oh, Dante's Inferno. Okay, it could also not just be money, but sex. Um, they could have slept with someone to get back at their partner. And then they left their, this, their ex. They're not their partner, their ex. Um, they, they messed around with someone to piss off their ex. It, it left, they were unbothered. They didn't care. And they got tied to someone. Look how she's holding her belly, you know. Um, she could have gotten pregnant. And this person wanted to take this person out. They could have, oh, in secret. Secret, secret plans to end them. Look at that. This is the person that they were messing around with. They were being a hoe with. And it could have been a child. They could have, you know maybe ask someone to, to take this person out. Yeah. Maybe at a party. Um, kidnap this person and, and take them out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. they're, they're, this person is used, um, is um, connecting to to someone's friends, this this child, this person that they impregnated, um, this masculine is connecting with this person's friends, 
to try and lure this person out to party, to do stuff like that, so they can try and kidnap them and take them out. Because there's so much shame in what they did. It's like it's almost like they're they're afraid that if people find out what and who they really are, everybody's gonna look at them in like disgust. But they did try to take out this person that they impregnated because they were trying to hide their shame. I'm hearing God forgives me. I've already forgiven. Well, God hasn't forgiven you because you, you keep fucking trying to cover up your fucking evil shit by doing even more wicked shit. You're playing chess. Or uh, this is chess, not checkers. You're playing checkers, fool. I communicate through music. What is this? Huh? <laughs> they think... I don't know who this is, but if you think someone's communicating to you because, you know, you walked away... This person ain't stressed about you. They're excited about their new beginnings. If you think this person's trying to communicate something to you through music, no. No. <laughs> You're tripping. I hear it is it's it's for someone else, not for you. Okay. Oh man. Okay, what's this chestnut checkers? Yeah, you, you you thought you were playing chess. <laughs> Checkmate, bitch. Checkmate. You're playing the real deal, man. You were playing the chess master, the grand grandmaster. <laughs> yeah. You really thought that you had this person by fucking like it's like sleeping with you're like step kid to get back at your your partner um you impregnated your step kid and you thought that this news was gonna devastate because you didn't care about this kid and you sure as hell don't care about that baby so if you destroy your ex and these kids to you it was just like pfft. even your own seed you didn't give a f fuck about you saw it as collateral, collateral damage. Like, um, yeah, you didn't care about what you were doing to this family. Oh my God. For lifetimes, you have condemned yourself and your bloodline other than this one little seed. And it ain't even yours. Like, you know, those cords have been cut. You can't claim, lay claim to it spiritually. Um, You have, oh man, you have cursed your bloodline for generations. You thought that this betrayal was gonna, you know, do something to your ex when you only to find out that this person didn't even fucking care about you like that. <laughs> they, they're the real deal. They knew that you were not. They knew you were faking the funk. They knew that a new beginning was gonna come for them. They weren't stressed about this because you know what they knew? They knew that judgment was going to come for this shit. Why am I going to worry about this is not my problem, this person's saying. For all your treachery. I'm not the one who has to answer to God for this. You are. And you're still trying to tell everybody that, you you know, God has forgiven my sins. And, and oh my God. you're just trying to, miss, you know deceive people you don't want people to see you for who you really are and that you <clears throat> continue to do wicked shit to cover up the shit you did from the in the past it's it's here judgment's here for you homie that shame it ain't going nowhere until everyone can see you for who you are 
At least that shame you're going to have to live with throughout this life. Ugh, I heard it. And next. There, you're going to have to, like, overcome this again. I don't know why. <laughs> Maybe. Mm -hmm. No intent to withdraw. You could be looking for someone. Hmm. I don't know. Well, these aren't really part of this reading, so I'm not too worried about it. But there you go, pile number five. Those are the ghosts from your past that are coming back to haunt you. Oh my goodness. All right. Let's see. We're at 46 minutes. Let's do one more. Two, three, or four. Four. Okay, four. You want it to come out? And I asked, you shut out. So let's see. Got the dragon at the bottom. Okay. What ghosts are haunting pile number four? Broken hearts. Something from the past, a broken heart. We have a van. We have a fire sign. We have a stitch. This could be family. Okay, let's just leave it there. Okay. So, broken heart, fire sign, fuck your feelings. What's a broken heart? Um, hold on. I'm getting that with the, with the stitch, this could be family, okay? This could be family. Somebody is maybe a fire sign, has a broken heart because this person could have betrayed you in some way. This is a February Aquarius. Okay. So broken heart for the conflict that someone caused by sleeping with someone. Broken heart. This person could have gotten pregnant by this person. They thought they were going to be successful in fucking hurting your feelings. <laughs> Yeah. Only to find out you didn't give a fuck about this motherfucker. <laughs> so this is somebody who could have slept with your dude thinking this was going to fucking devastate you. And you were just like, oh, oh, him? Go ahead, keep him. Oh, shit. I was planning on disposing of this person anyway. It's not, not, not literally. <laughs> I mean, like, taking out the trash. You know, this person's a fucking clown. <laughs> yeah. This could have, uh, someone could have done this to their mother. Spirit says that's the truth. The truth. Oh, that somebody was, um, trying to plot to get rid of you and your kid. So this person, this February Aquarius could have um, had some kind of plan 
to get you, you know, to lure you in a van. They, um, something about a van. What can you tell me about the van? Yeah, when not, they were going to try to lure you in there. And the, they were going to be like, well, I don't know, I don't know. Like, I actually was just right here. Your friends are deceptive. That's why someone told you, walk away, cut these people out. Do not spend time with these people because they're trying to... They're, they're, they're backstabbers. They're gonna, they're working with this person that you, oh man, this is fucking messy as fuck, man. Okay, so this fucking February Aquarius, this clown over here, used someone's family to get back at their ex. Fuck your feelings. They could have even gone after a, a kid uh, who had some kind of feeling towards their parent. Um, I heard this person also sowed seeds of, of discord. Oh, there's another level of hell for you right there. Check out Dante's Inferno, please. Um, yeah, whoever this is, you know, you're going to be in many levels of hell that you're going to have to escape. And it's not going to be easy because you got, you know, these monsters guarding people from escaping that, you know. But, um, yeah, this person was trying to sow seeds of discord amongst a family. They wanted to get back, back at their ex, so they mess, they mess around with their their stepkid gets this kid pregnant this kid also has, has some kind of feelings towards their their parent this person's ex so they're like oh man let's get together and take it you know you know destroy this person since we both hate them hate her <laughs> you know so there was a lot this person caused a lot of fighting and conflicts in this family and then they just moved away like yeah they they were celebrating thinking that they had caused all this discord in this family only to find out that this person this person that this one wanted to get back at didn't even fucking care about this motherfucker not that not to that extent hell no nah. so let's look at this van oh so this clown over here was the was trying to lure the one that the kid that they impregnated into a van to get rid of this person they, honestly, they wanted to get rid of both of them. Yeah, emotionally manipulating this person to try and get them, to end them. Spirit says, that's the truth. Oh my God, you are wicked. What's the van? Yep, that was the plot. You were trying to lure this person. Get in the van, come on, let's go. Like, oh no. Like going to concerts, doing shit like that to lure someone in. You got this person over here needs to watch out for certain family members too. You just don't know, you, you know. Until you completely disconnect from these wicked ass people, man. You gotta watch your ass, man. Watch your back, because this person is really wanted to take you out. I don't. This person is not gonna be able to anymore, um, because I, you know, they got found out. The truth is out now, and so. Yeah, you know, if anything happens to this person over here, they're going to know who it was. Even if this person has someone else do it, this person's hands are in it. They're, they got eyes on this clown. Yeah. This person, um, this person caused a lot of conflict between a, a parent and a child. And this is someone who does work in the community to empower um, the youth and strengthen families, that kind of bullshit. Um, this is a fucking clown. This person's a clown. This person would destroy families and then laugh about it. Oh, man, please tell me what's going to happen to this clown spirit. Spirit says he was celebrating, but let's leave that a secret. 
it's gonna be a surprise let them sweat a little bit that's what spirit says let them sweat a little bit we don't have to tell them everything <laughs> damn we don't have to tell them everything just let them sweat it out sweat it sweat it you, you know spirit says you could use it use it yeah. um. <laughs> spirit's funny man yo my ancestors too man they be talking all kinds of shit <laughs> but we'll let we'll save that for another day because i'm pretty sure this isn't gonna be the first time or i'm sorry the last time that we uh pick up on this energy i'm sure we're gonna talk about it again you know especially this clown over here it is a february aquarius i hate to say that because i am an aquarius and, but this this is low vibrational Aquarius, you know, these are, ooh, ooh, ooh. Um, but you know, yeah, so I don't know, guys, I think I'm going to leave it there. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.